a person in a very large Midwest city. I was giving a lecture around that someplace, and he called me into his office. He was head of the recreation for this city. And he said, I'm going to send a busload of kids out to the Wind Rivers for two weeks next summer, uh, or this summer. Uh, what, what will you advise me to do? How will I do it? And uh, I'm very honest sometimes. And I said, stay home. <laughs> stay home. You can't do it. I said, you've got wonderful people here working for you. And they've graduated from Indiana and Illinois and other places. But they have been trained to do things here in the city and maybe to do nature walks. But none of these people have been trained to take people two weeks way beyond the roadhead back in the Wind Rivers. And I, I, I explained that to him. And sometimes you would think that that would need to be explained, but it did need to be explained. Because it need to be explained that, look, after you leave the roadhead and go back there, way back there, you have to have a different kind of a leader and you have an entirely different situation because you've left the perks of civilization behind. You can't call a doctor. That is, you can, but he isn't going to get there for a while. You can't call an ambulance. You don't have the police. You don't have the minister. You don't have the shrink. You don't have the parents. Thank goodness, sometimes. <laughs> you don't have any of those things. You don't have McDonald's. You don't have Holiday Inn. And you've got to keep those bodies at 98 degrees, no matter what the weather. You got to keep them at 98 degrees. You got to keep enough food in their bodies so they can develop heat and strength. And, and you just got to do those things. And then you have 10 or 12 people, and they're all different personalities. They, uh, gosh, you've got to make decisions every day, hundreds of them perhaps, some of them very important decisions. And of course, anybody can make decisions. The test comes when you execute those decisions. And you have to work in real country with real circumstances, with real people, with real results. And uh, so you need people that are, have some education toward that end. And I said, wait till next summer. And I'll give you, here's two universities. And here's two guys that are head of those departments. You call them up and tell them what kind of kids you want for here who also have a WEA certificate in their resume. And that's what he did. So you see, this was one of the first times where we had kids coming out or graduates coming out of universities who were also tr trained in whatever they took there, the recreation, the ecological studies, and all that sort of thing, who had this outdoor thing too. <laughs>